Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're going through my top 15 favorite knives of 2023, and I'm going to rank them. I'm going to rank them from last to my favorite, number one, and I love them all, but we got them ranked. Now, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you guys know this is a very difficult video for me to make because... You know, to say a knife is your favorite over another one when they might, when you love them both equally, like they're both very similar or, or maybe for different reasons, you know, maybe one is like your favorite hard use knife over your favorite jet knife. It's difficult to do that. And, you know, a lot of times when people ask me like, hey, what's your, what's your favorite, what's your three favorite knives of your collection? When they ask me that, I always think of for what? Like my th three favorite hard use knives, my three fr favorite jet knives, my three favorite basic EDC knives, work knives, what? Hunting knives, self-defense knives, because they're going to be different depending on, you know, the, the, the category. So, you know, when you guys give me a string to hang on to, I'll give you an answer. But a lot of times it's really, really difficult to answer those questions. But I am going to put that together. I promise. I'm going to put together my, like, top 10 favorite knives, maybe even top 15 or 20 to make it a little easier on me. Favorite knives of my entire collection. Now, today we are checking out the top 15 knives of 2023 that are my favorite. And we're going to rank them. But I did leave out... The Ridiculous. I left out some of my favorite knives as far as the Ridiculous goes. And <laughs> they could totally fit right on the list in my favorite knives. Some of these knives that are on this list, I probably would, would get rid of before I'd get rid of something like this. Because this absolutely puts a smile on my face this gives this brings me joy something like this and i have a bunch of other ones like that like the Hephaestus, some of the pmps and you know as much as they bring me joy and as much as they could fit right inside this list they're not the most practical so i tried to go with the more practical or the most practical favorite knives of 2023 let's get into it so I did remove knives that just basically changed steels that already existed before 2023, but they have a new steel like the Protec, Mordex, and MagnaCut. 63 to 64HRC, I think they did a really good job. I also got the PT, the, the Protec PT, and it's also in MagnaCut, 63 to 64HRC. And I love these knives but they have already existed before this year. They just switched the steel. Same thing with the Mannix and 15V. You know, otherwise, you know, it'd be on the list, but you know, I'm trying to make it to where these, these are the, the new knives, not just a blade steel swap. So starting this off, I do have to just throw out two honorable mentions really quick because the best tech Cetus, I'm still in the honeymoon phase. I've recently just got it. It hasn't even dropped yet. It doesn't drop till like the 27th, but I honestly do think that this thing would be farther up on the list considering how much I've been carrying it lately and how much I do really, really like it. But because I'm still in the honeymoon phase, you know, I do have to give it a little bit more time before I can really compete it against other knives on the list. But I have a good feeling that uh, towards the end of the year, this one's going to make the list. Now, the next one is the Kaladin, the Tuya Kaladin. This is a Jim Skelton design. And I was trying to fit it in somewhere because, you know, I do like it that much, but it did kind of get a little bit bumped back. One big reason is because of the plunge grind hits the actual edge. So, uh, but the action is ridiculous. <laughs> Sick. This is one of the most fall shut knives I have in my collection on a frame lock. But to start the actual list off, number 15 is the Kershaw Launch 15. I did not plan that launch 15 in the 15 spot and there's a couple reasons why it's so far in the back now this is one i have carried quite a bit but only at the house and around the property because i am a felon so because i'm a felon i can't carry an automatic knife when i'm at so it, it limits my my ability to really really appreciate it and love it as much as i do um, if you guys want to hear the story of how I became a felon, let me know down in the comments. You know, if we get enough, I I'll, I'll make a video on it. Magna Cut Steel, 
Now, the one of the issues is they are running it on the softer side. I wish they would run it at an optimal range. I'd be a lot happier with it, but it is nice and slicey. Love the blade shape, beautiful spear point dagger style blade, aluminum handle, micarta inlays that are done really well. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's a very functional knife. The spring hammers out there really Really good, rock solid lockup. So lots of great qualities on this one. I think that this is, if you like automatics, try out the Launch 15. It's one of my favorites as far as automatics goes. They did a really good job with it. I just wish they'd up that HRC. Number 14, another USA made knife, the Chapman Lake Knives. Now, if you haven't seen my review on this, go watch it. You gotta see the way they did this bearings. The bearing system in this is some of the most unique bearings I've ever seen. Now, it has a 20 CV clip point blade, I guess. <laughs> Hollow ground clip point blade, they did a really good job with the edge. Titanium handle, titanium hardware, titanium pocket clip. And there's so many options when you order one of these. You can pick, um, you know, different color hardware or there's so many different colors you can choose from between the handle, the clip, and the hardware. And they do really, really good quality titanium hardware. Very impressive. The action is ridiculous because of how high the flipper tab is relative to the pivot. This thing launches out. It almost feels like an automatic. Then you have the thumb studs. So it's very fidgety. I know it has a unique look to it, but it's actually a lot more functional than you know you might like look at it and think. So it actually does work really, really good. Now it's not a knife I'm gonna beat up on or anything like that. You know, it's somewhat, I'm not gonna say a gentleman's knife, but it's definitely something I'm trying to take care of. Number 13, made in Italy, the Giant Mouse Rio in Magna Cut Steel. Now, yes, I wish they were doing their Magna Cut Steel a little bit harder. They're doing it 61 to 62. I wish it was 63 to 64. It is what it is. But, you know, ho hopefully in the future we'll see them do it at an optimal range. Regardless, I really, really like the knife. But the thing is, is this thing's extremely lightweight. So I kind of put this knife in a box. I don't mean like literally in a box. I mean like I put it in the lightweight duty box because it is so lightweight. I'm not gonna say it feels cheap or anything like that because that's not the, the word I'm looking for. But if price had anything to do with weight, this would feel cheap. But it's super duper lightweight. But because the blade shape is the way it is and the ergonomics are the way it is, this thing is extremely functional. If you really appreciate lightweight knives, you gotta try the Rio because it, it really sits there in the, the Benchmade Bug Out, the Hogue Deca, you know, the, the Civivi Cubit, that, that kind of arena, and I really appreciate it. Um, now, some people are gonna say, why would you put such a tough steel on a light duty knife? It is what it is. Magna Cut's very corrosion resistant and holds a really good edge. Um, and this one is super ergonomic, even though it is very narrow. Great access to the lock bar, nice and smooth on the ceramic cage bearings, crown spine, beautiful drop point blade, and a reversible deep carry clip. That works great, as all wire clips pretty much do. So, let's get to the next one. Number 12 is the Kirby Lambert Rain. Now, for 200, around $250, this knife is made by Riat. So it pretty much has like the $400 level quality Riet, Riet quality in a $250 knife. So I think this thing is priced extremely, extremely well, um, especially when you look at the competition. It has a very thick, robust ground knife with a nice hollow grind on it. So it actually gets thin behind the edge, but the actual blade stock is super thick. You're not gonna break this tip. You could probably do some light duty prying with this. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm saying it is that tough. Titanium bolster lock, this thing comes in like seven different versions, lots of options with this one, lots of different colors and flavors. Um, but great access to the lock bar. The, I love the sound of it. The action is really good. The flipper tab's nice and comfortable. It's made for you to position and do a push button. Um, the clip works great. 
floating back spacer. This thing has a lot of great qualities. And if you don't know, they're talking about doing a non recurved ver version with thumb studs. I'm trying to talk them into doing thumb studs and flipper deployment, but you know, it'd be really cool to see one without the recurve because I think that's one reason why people kind of shy away from this one. However, this is not a big recurve. You, <laughs> you could sharpen this thing pretty easily. You know, you don't, you don't even need like round stones or anything. Um, now you might have to use like a half inch or a one inch stone, but it's still, it's very easy to sharpen but they did such a good job on this the kirby lambert rain next is another usa made knife but i do not have it here so i'm going to use my other one to represent it <laughs> so the american blade works model one i have it in for warranty work mine was failing so he's fixing it i have no doubt that it's not going to come back perfect but I still do love it. It has a beautiful sheep's foot blade, magna cut steel, 63 to 64 HRC. The micro milling on the titanium handle, it is a liner lock. Um, the clip works great. He's doing incredible work. And I gotta say, for the materials, the build quality and heat treat, the price is, it's, it's unmatched, like it's unbeatable. It's such a good price, like an outstanding price for what you're getting when you're talking about a USA made knife with a titanium handle and um, super steel. Man, he's doing incredible work. And from what I've seen from the first knife I ever got from him all the way till now, he, his quality has gonna, just listen to that here right now. more and more and more. And he's gotten to a level of which is he's he's doing great great work I, I can't recommend him enough and i like that he's very easy to contact if you have any issues or anything like that you know my knife's in for work right now there was no questions asked and um and you, you got to appreciate something like that because you know things happen so it's about what they do about it and american blade works fantastic company and you know he's really kicking ass with his knives here comes the top 10 number 10 the Precision Blade Works Warn Tech. Very impressed with this knife. You know, there's a lot of reasons why. And also you can get these for a pretty damn good price. He does do deals sometimes, but he also has versions right now that are Cerakoted, I believe by Knife Modders, but they're completely blacked out Cerakote with full hollows. So he does offer that. This is, you know, it's the regular hollow, which uh, is nice and thin behind the edge. But if you want a hollow all the way to the top of the spine, you can get that. Beautiful micro milling on this titanium frame lock. I love how you put the cutout for the lock bar on the inside. It makes the clip super duper functional. Great access to the lock bar. This is very fidgety. Some of the best reverse flicking action you could ask for. You could reverse flick it with any finger. It is that good. Um, thumb flick, not the best, but you can do it. But what I love about this knife is the functionality. The blade complements the handle perfectly. This is a knife you can do precision work with, you know, and you know, <laughs> I'm not, uh, number nine, Microtech Stitch, another USA made knife. Now, I like the Microtech Stitch more than the MSI, and I know I wasn't doing knives that already existed with new steels, but this is a knife that has already existed, but now with a manual locking system. So originally it was an auto, so I'm considering it a whole new knife. It has their ram lock, which I do like their ram lock. It's on multi-row ceramic caged bearings. It's very smooth. I do wish the detent was stronger, but you know, it is what it is. As far as the knife goes as a functioning tool, it looks wicked and it works really good. Not only for self-defense, but this is a great blade shape for EDC. You can get it nice and tight to that edge. The pinch grips are great. The tip is very, very pokey. You know, it just works really good for precision. Um, very ergonomic, extremely comfortable in the hand. You know, some people not like how big this finger choil is. I personally love it. You know, it just gives you a, a really cool feeling in the hand. The ram lock, very easy to manipulate. Like I said, the detent is light, and I don't like that, but, you know, whatever. Um, as far as the steel goes, ah, man, I do wish they had a higher HRC on their steels. This is their new steel M390 um, MK, which, you know, is just their version of M390, so it's very similar to M390, but they're doing it soft, and, and you know, 
If it had a better HRC, this thing could possibly be even higher up on the list, but all in all, the knife itself, I love the knife and I love the design. And, you know, yeah, Microtech stitch with the ram lock. Number eight is the Chavez Kickstop. It had to make the list. I know this thing is heavy. It is a brick. It's definitely very blocky, but something about it I absolutely love. M390 dual ground Tonto. There is drop point versions. Um, I think the Tonto is a nasty looking Tonto. And this came with one of the best and sharpest edges I've seen in a long time from the factory. Um, the ergonomics, you know, it is blocky, but you know, it's still pretty comfortable. You can definitely bear down on it. Great access to the lock bar. If you don't know what the kick stop is, you know, go watch a video on it. You can go watch one of my videos. Um, but it, it's a flipper tab that's not connected to the blade, but it does make for incredible action. And I keep saying when they mix a kick stop with a detent nub, we're going to see the best and most snappy action ever on a manual knife. And the, the pocket clip, I love the look of it. So a lot of people hate the look of it. I personally love the look of it, but I don't like how it functions. It's not a very functional pocket clip. It's very tight, you know, it, it's it's hard to get in and out of the pocket. Now, as far as the replacement clip that does come with it, it's no better. So, you know, I love the look of the clip, so I'm just gonna leave it on there. The other clip doesn't work any better, so. But all in all, what an amazing knife. It has really cool sounds. Super snappy action, and you know, it's just one of those knives that you know, yeah, it's heavy, yeah, it's a tank, but man, it just screams badassery, and I love it. And I love kick stops. Number seven, the Quiet Carry Drift LC. I love this one, LC 200 and steel. Beautiful stone washed finish. The ergonomics are so, so good on this one. We have a titanium show side with a, or sorry, G10 show side with a titanium frame lock lock side. They did the lock bar cutout on the inside. You guys know I love that. It makes the clips work so good. And their clip is such a functional clip. I mean, this is one of the best clips ever. And, you know, I could use it on, I, I could have this clip on every knife. It's that good. I love their micro milling. I, lo I love so much that the Quiet Carry does. I am always excited to see what comes from Quiet Carry. And I can't wait to see what comes next because they are doing some of the best work. They really are. They are one of the best knife companies right now. Um, they're doing an incredible, incredible job. The, the action on this is ridiculous. Ridiculous, as you can see, complete false shut action. Uh, they do a good job with their heat treatments. Like I was saying before, this is very ergonomic. It's a very functional knife. And, you know, they have a couple different versions of this. Now, the next two are pretty much tied, but number six is my Jared Osier F22, also with a kickstop. Now, I have it somewhere, I gotta find it. So I'm just gonna use some footage from <laughs> my content um, to replace it right now. But it comes in lots of different options, tons of different flavors. It is one I highly recommend. You know, yes, it only has one form of deployment, but the deployment it has works so good. It's such a great flipping action. And you know, it, it's done by Riet. Um, the quality is is 10 out of 10. You know, it, it's so, such good quality and they, like I said, they have so many different styles. So like, you know, they're going to be different weights, you know, depending if you get a full titanium like I have or a micarta one. I'm even thinking about getting a micarta one. I've been talking about it for a long time. They're still in stock. You can buy them. Um, they're, they're up there in price. But as far as functionality goes and quality goes, the F22 Kickstop is one of my favorites of the year. They, they knocked it out of the park. And I like that it has a... A not not I don't want to say unique, but it is kind of unique to some extent. It has the shield, you know, the way they did the lock bar on the inside of the scales. You know, it's a knife that has a lot of quality to it, and it feels like it. You know, it feels like a premium knife. It's a knife you can put in your hand. And you're like, yeah, this thing must be expensive, and so it has that, which I absolutely love. And it's almost a gent knife. You know, while not quite a gent knife, it, it kind of can fit in that place really nicely. 
Now, number five, number six and number five basically kind of go in the same boat. They're very difficult to choose which one I like more. I put this one ahead of the Jared Osher F22 Kickstop because I think it has a cooler look to it. By, by a little bit. I love this Harpoon Tonto. This is a beautiful grind. This is done by Riet. It has a hollow grind here, flat grind here. Nasty Harpoon. Um, this uses the detent nub. Remember earlier with the, the kick stop? I said a kick stop plus a detent nub. Holy cow, would that make incredible action. If you don't know about the detent nub, go and read about that too, or go watch a video on that. Because basically, instead of having a detent ball, it's a detent nub where they just mill out the titanium or the steel, if it has a steel lock bar insert, they mill out like a steel um, nub and it fits into a square or a circle that's grooved into the blade, which makes it have a very consistent snappy action where the detent is not too strong, it's not too light, it, and you can build up pressure. It offers a nice clean break when you deploy the knife. Now this is the small Evo, so this, the mini Evo, sorry, the Sharp by Design's mini Evo. And I would love to have a big version of this, but I do not have that. But as far as the mini goes, I can still get a full four finger grip beautiful micarta inlays now there is different versions of this lots of different options um the titanium mill pocket clip I, I think it works pretty good you know um i normally don't like clips that are near the spine this one's not bad in the hand um some people say they're very they're too tight for them but i, I don't think it's too bad but but it is a little bit tight but the build quality again like we were talking about the f22 it's there. It's a knife you get in hand and you're like, oh yeah, this, this thing is this thing's definitely expensive. You just know it. Um, now I can reverse flick it. That fuller is nice and tight in there. Like that's what, another reason why I'd love to see a full size version or have a full size version. Sharp control and plunge grind is really good. I personally like the flipper tab. Some people think it look, you know, it's a little bit big. I love it. I think it looks awesome and it allows you to have really, really good action. But the fit, the finish, the tolerances, the the everything is so good on this. Um, Sharp by Designs does an, or React does an amazing job with the Sharp by Designs knives. Number four, the Gun Slinger. I had to have the Gun Slinger on the list. My goodness, is this a good one. So fidgety, you don't want to put it down and so easy to fidget with. Like, <laughs> it's great. Now it has an S90 EV super deep hollow grind like this is this is precision geometry um talk about slicey it is a full hollow all the way up to the top of the spine gets down incredibly thin behind the edge i can't wait to see some more bolster locks from jack wolf knives i want to see a sheep's foot or a spear point or a warney and it might wind up being like my favorite knife because they are that good especially if it's a good size like this one so we we have a titanium bolster lock. It does come in different color options and stuff. They're all sold out now, but I think they are. Um, by the way, there are some Jack Wolf knives for sale right now. I should have um, said that, but you can get a lot of the Jack Wolf slip joints right now. I will link it down in the description. I believe it's through Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which we do have an affiliate for. So I I'll link them down in the description. But yeah, just check out the Jack Wolf knives link down in the description if you want to get one. But as far as this one goes, titanium milled pocket clip, um, beautiful backspacer. Like I said, there's lots of different co color options and flavor options. The front flipper works so good. You can do all the tricks with it comfortably. Um, the fuller is nice and sharp, so you can easily reverse flick off of it. Very cool sound. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is one, of, obviously it's one of the best knives of the year because it's in my top five. It is number four, the Jack Wolf Knives Gunslinger. Number three, the Wee Knives Exiton. This is one of the most beautiful looking knives that I've seen all year. I think this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of a sports car, 20 CEV, drop point, 
dual ground blade, nice hollow grind with a flat grind in the nose. Um, the jimping is extremely functional, forward finger choil, titanium scales. It did come in a few different color options. The backspacer is a basically a milled out uh, section that's like an integral that slaps over the back. So it's not an integral knife, but it makes the backspacer kind of like uh, an integral. And I love the cross cut section of the carbon fiber. The clips on these work really, really, really good. And the action, man, We Knife Co. has perfected the button lock detent. They've perfected the button lock everything because this thing is a vault like lockup while being ridiculously smooth. A lot of button locks have a little bit of play. These have been incredible, very ergonomic, very useful. The problem is that they are limited and I don't think there's any more available. Um, so that does suck, but they're still a knife from 2023 and it had to, it had to be on the list. Then number two, and you guys always ask me, which one do you like more, the Zivius or the Exiton? So I like the look of the Exiton more, but the functionality of the Zivius. So the Zivius got number two, just in front of the Exiton, they're nose to nose. A lot of these knives are nose to nose. If this was a race, th this was definitely photo finish with a, a lot of a lot of noses right next to each other. The Wee Ziffius 20 CV Warncliffe blade that is nasty, man. This thing works so good. And you know, with the Warncliffe, you have the pressure all the way out to the tip. So when you're slicing, you have the same amount of pressure all the way out to the tip. There's no belly to like slip out of. Um, again, we already talked about their button lock action. They have perfected it and this is just the exact same. And that's another thing I really like is how consistent they are. This one has the, the um, the lightning anode, because if you don't know, the Exiton and the Xiphius are basically the same handle platform with different blade shapes. They're a little bit different. This one is a little bit longer, but it has basically in the same type of backspacer as the Exiton, but this one's in, in lightning Anno. But because it's lightning Anno and the clip is lightning Anno, this is even more functional than the Exiton. It is, is very smooth and out of the pocket because we have a polished surface with a polished surface. So the clip is super duper smooth, but this is very ergonomic, nice and slicey, fantastic user. I want to beat the tar off of it. I really do. Like I just, I want to beat the hell out of this thing. I want to carry it every day, but because it's a limited knife and I can't get another one, I'm trying to take care of it. I still use it. I still carry it. I, you know, so, you know, it's not that I don't use it, but I'm trying my best to take care of it as much as possible because I can't get another one. Number one, you guys probably seen this coming, especially after seeing the list, the quiet carry number nine, the quiet carry nine. I got to say quiet carry is doing some of the best work from any knife company right now. They are possibly my most excited knives when they drop models. Um, I can't wait for more models to drop. Um, I can't link this one. I'm trying my best to get an affiliate link with them, but I can't deny that, that this is my favorite knife of the year so far. Now, remember this is, we still have a lot more of the year to go. So this video is gonna change at the end of the year and this could get smacked down to number nine. I don't know. But as far as right now goes, 20 CV, they did a great job with the with the heat treat, super sticky edge. I love their finishing work on their blades. This one's a stone wash. I know it's messy because I, I do beat the tar off of this thing because I can easily replace it. Titanium frame lock that is done so, so well. The cutoff of the lock bars on the inside, this clip works even better than the drift because it's on a smooth surface. So yeah, this is the best clip I've ever used. I would take this clip on any knife. It is that smooth, especially because the lock bar cutouts on the inside and it's a smooth surface. So it just glides in and out of the pocket. Best lock bar access almost ever. It's so, so comfortable to disengage this knife. Complete fall shut action. Perfectly tuned detent. Really cool sound. Extremely comfortable in the hand. I love this knife. Now, while this is my favorite knife of 2023, 
tomorrow a knife could come out that totally beats it. And I, I know there's some more knives coming right now that, that have a lot of potential to beat it. So this is just my favorite list, my top 15 list from January till now, what's been released and in ranking order, which is very difficult for me to do, guys. I know most of you guys know that watch my channel how difficult it is for me to do my favorites because there's so many to choose from. So it's very, very difficult. But this is my 15 favorites ranked from least to favorite that's been released in 2023. Work hard, stay tough, society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.